Hi guys, it's Danny from Art by Marlene's Promo Team for 2019. Today I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on painting a brush roll. I've purchased this from the local art supply store and I'm planning on just putting my art watercolour brushes in there. So I just wanted to make it nice and pretty. I'm using some acrylic paint and I've mixed it with some fabric medium. So one part fabric medium to three parts acrylic paint. And I'm just painting some strips across the whole roll, just in nice bright rainbow colours. I've had to give each section two or three coats just so I've got a nice opaque finish. I'm now extending that paint into each other, sort of trying to help it to blend and look a little bit more organic so it's not so patchy. So I've got a nice interesting background. I'm using some of the Art by Marlene art foamies here. I'll list all the stamps I've used in the description below. I'm using a jelly plate to load the paint up onto the art foamies. This gives me a nice even distribution of the paint on the art foamy and then gives me a nice printed image of the stamp onto the fabric. So it's kind of a sure way of getting a nice crisp stamped image. I'm using the larger art foamies here as my focal point. So I've stamped them in black paint and this sort of really helps to make them stand out against that busy rainbow background. Once that paint's dry, I'm going to use some Posca pens and some pit pens here to really color in those little negative sections and give them their own little brightness, making them a real focal point on the actual roll itself. The beauty of the pit pens is that it's Indian ink, so they're actually permanent once they're dry. I'm using those pit pens in the background and I'll also use Posca pens to highlight and to also outline those images so that they really stand out from that busy background. Basically adding my own maraki, as Marlene would call it, to the stamped images. Now I'm just using some Posca pen in the background to highlight and do a bit more mark making. Same with the pit pens here, just to add a little bit more visual interest in the background. And to highlight and brighten some of those stamped images in the background as well. And that's basically it. That's the finished roll. I was really happy with its outcome. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'd love to see what you think. Thanks for watching, guys.